uwepo wa deputy president kama mwenye atawania kiti ya rais Kenya hii ni kitu ambayo ndugu yetu mkubwa mzee mwenye tunapenda mzee wa heshima Francis Atwoli alikuwa amefundisha wa Kenya kwamba alikuwa amepika turbini na akazungumza na Mwenyezi Mungu na akaambiwa kwamba Deputy President William Ruto hatakuwa na nafasi ya kuwa kwa ballot paper. This is the kind of nonsense that could easily have captured the imagination of some of the weak-hearted people in our community especially. And therefore, so we thank uh, weekly and Bezo Paranya for this. Anybody who wants to give the impression that there will there is any resistance, I hope that makes it now clear that Oparanya is also part of this. The secret is Oparanya is a very smart man. Having known that we have swung the community behind the deputy president, he doesn't want to resist less after Azmio loses, he finds himself in a no man's land. He has now laid the olive branch and Oparanya, you're most welcome. You can do it before the election or after the election. We will take care of you through the governor. We'll take care of your welfare. And since you are a very highly qualified in my man in matters of finance, Washiali, who is our coordinator, has the ear of the deputy president. He'll talk to the deputy president. Those little things they are promising you there at Azmio, we can give you and even give you more. The majority being our community, Zabaluya, we only make statements in Luya land using two sites. We either do it in the Muliro Gardens or in Bukungo Stadium. These are scarred grounds in our community and therefore what we'll speak here will be binding. Number two, Lengo Yapili, Nikwamba, this will be the official launch of the presidential campaign, Western chapter of William Samoe Ruto. My last point is to thank the people of Western Province. We started small, but we have become big.